We've been looking at multiple, but now we want to look at the lowest common multiple. We're going to do this by using an example. Um, so we're going to use the example of finding the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 to explain what a lowest common multiple is. So let's look at multiples. So the multiples of 3, you know what those are, right? 3, 6, 9, 12, and they go on forever and ever, and that's why you put the little dots at the end. And the multiples of 5, well again we know those, 5, 10, 15, 20, right? And they go on forever and ever. Now, if we're looking for common multiples, what we mean when we say, uh, in, say in English we just normally say I have something in common with you, it means we share something, there's something the same. And so when we talk about common multiples of 3 and 5, it means multiples of 3 that are also multiples of 5. So something, a number that's in that top list, which are the multiples of 3, that's also in the bottom list, the multiples of 5, is a common multiple. So for example, 15 is a common multiple, because it's in both those lists, and 30 is a common multiple, because it's in both those lists, it's a multiple of 3 as well as a multiple of 5. So those are your common multiples. And there'll be a whole lot more. But what we want is the lowest common multiple. In other words, we want the smallest of all of these, and it's very obvious in this case, the smallest of them is 15, and so our lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. Okay, now that we know what the lowest common multiple is, what it means, well, let's look at a few more examples. So, if you're asked to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8, you start by writing out your multiples of 6. And then you go to your multiples of 8. Now remember, the lowest common multiple, you're looking for a number that is already in that list of multiples of 6. And you're looking for the smallest one. So as soon as you come across one, as you're listing the multiples of 8, you can stop. So let's start listing the multiples of 8. 8, that isn't in the multiples of 6 list. 16, that also isn't in the multiples of 6 list. But 24 is. And so there you've got your lowest common multiple. You don't need to continue listing any more multiples of 8. And so you can say your lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. If you're asked to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 12, we'll do it in the same way. Write out a few of the multiples of 4 and then we'll go and have start with writing the multiples of 12, and each time we'll be checking whether those multiples are already in that list of the multiples of 4. So the first multiple of 12 is 12 times 1, which is 12, ha! and that's already there. So the lowest common multiple of 4 and 12 is 12. So that's quite interesting. We didn't have to really go anywhere. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 12 is just 12 itself. Can you think why that happened? Think about it and see if you can immediately answer without needing to do any work what the lowest common multiple of 6 and 18 would be. Did you think about it? And did you realize that because 6 divides into 18, 18 is a multiple of 6, and so the lowest common multiple of 6 and 18 will just be 18. 